Hi, I'm Richard Russo, and this is Chances Are. One of the most touching scenes to me in the entire book was the, where these three college guys are hanging out at a sorority house watching the televised yeah. drawing of the draft right. numbers. What are your memories of that night? What I remember most profoundly was that we were both um, serious and young. Until that moment, we could all say that we were all in the same boat. Right. All for one, one for all. But as those ping pong balls began to drop with those individual birthdays, we suddenly had individual destinies and we weren't all in the same boat. And we knew yeah. that that had been a kind of lie that we, had, that we had told ourselves. As it became clear that we were in our own leaky boats, people did begin to drift away. The ideals that we pick up in school or from books don't always hold up when we get to the real world. And it, it seemed to me that these guys were struggling with that. I feel like that's come up before in your books. Is sure. that something you were thinking about as you were writing their adulthoods? The way we plan our lives um, according to, you know, our skill sets, but also our, our ideals, what we believe in. It's one thing at 21, but most of us, you know, depends on, depends on the individual, but most of us around age 50, many of us wake up and think to ourselves, how in the world did I end up here? How did life, <laughs> how did life turn out like this? We don't always recognize forks in the road as forks in the road, but we, but, sure. but we take them, yeah. <laughs> we take them anyway. And one day you wake up realizing that you've probably lived more years than you're going to live mm -hmm. and you're not where you expected you were going to be. And you begin to, you begin to think about destiny a little bit. Does it ever get easier to write a novel? It never gets easier. The only thing that you can be absolutely certain of is whatever worked in your last novel won't work in this one. You know, what does get a little bit easier? With each book, you begin to understand that whatever despair you're feeling, whatever it is that you don't know about this book, when, the, when you say to yourself, all right, this time I really have bitten off more than I can chew, you remember, all right, this is just not a new feeling. You felt this way with the last book and it didn't kill you, you killed it. Rick, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. And thank you for joining us for A Word on Words. I'm Mary Laura Philpot. Keep reading. As a writer, you have every right to branch out, to try new things, because the same thing is true, has always been true. Readers don't know what they want until you give it to them. That's right.